This is Mr. NYC here. I'm doing a video on PS4 exclusives on why an Xbox One owner should get a PS4. I don't think you should get rid of your Xbox One, but these are the reasons why you should buy a PS4 and the games why. And the first game is Horizon Zero Dawn, and it's one of my favorite games. It's an open world action adventure And it is a, an awesome game. You play a female protagonist and you're in a land where they have tribes and they worship the machinery. And you have different tribes warring over some type of machinery and you have, um, a secret machinery that could change the world. Well, I don't know what happened there. But that's my horse. Oh, that's see what that's what happened. Anyways, you and this game is off the chart. It's one of the best games. I'd give it eight and a half to nine out of ten. And it it has different areas, desert, mountains, snow, it, it has a lot of things you can do, but you can control some of the machines, or almost all of them actually, and make them the way they could fight for you, but uh, this is one reason why, or one game why, you should get a PS4 even a PS4 Pro if you can afford it and uh, it has a lot of cool things you can do on this game a lot of outfits you can have where and only that you you could do stealth uh, missions also, like you can go stealth kill this entire bandit camp and you can take over that camp and then your people will take it over after you kill them. And then you can see the big giant dinosaur like creatures, machines, and they've replaced all the other, it's, it's an awesome game. So I'm gonna let you watch this video, let you enjoy this video, I hope, anyways. Or this section, and um, my next one that comes after this is God of War.
any warmer out here. Yeah. This is the second God of War game I've ever played. The first one was the first God of War, and the only reason I played that game is because I was selling the PlayStation 2, and I was testing the game to see if it worked. So the PlayStation 2 would work. But this game is one of the best games I've played, and it's gotten like high reviews, very high reviews, and it won Game of the Year over Red Dead Redemption 2 and Spider-Man. In fact, Spider-Man is, is one of the other games on this list. This way, boy. But if you don't get any of these games, I would strongly suggest you get a PlayStation 4 for this game. This game is amazing. It is amazing. I enjoyed this game. And I'm not going to talk too much on these videos. I want you to actually watch the video, watch the uh, the gameplay, see if you like it for yourself. But uh, all these games that are on this video are PS4 Pro Enhanced. So, and this is an action adventure and it's slightly open world but it's not like an actual open world like Horizon Dawn but it, it, you'll like it a lot you won't be able to fast travel until the end almost towards the end of the game and you fight some crazy boss huge boss monsters in this game how are we gonna get across and uh, that's your son and he he helps you and he stays with you along with the game so I hope you enjoyed this video wow go oh what happened here there it is hold what are you doing? Now his guard is up. Only fire. Only fire. When I tell you to fire. I'm sorry. Do not be sorry. Be better. Find it. Find it. They've never come this close to our woods before. Keep moving. Uh, 
Here's this way. I can see more tracks. Up there! You went in the old temple. But Mom told me never to go in there. We do what we please, boy. No excuses. Now, this game is off the chart. This game is a very narrative-driven with choice after choice after choice. And these choices could either kill your character permanently or change the outcome of the story. This is how awesome this game is. And right now... This is uh, Marcus, is one of the main characters. You play three characters. Marcus, uh, Kier, I think that, that's the lady's name, and Connor. And, and it's three different point of views. But I would, this is one of the best games I've played. And uh, it has like a lot of action events. You know, you gotta mash the buttons down and do this and do that or it could that could change the decision just like that so this is a small clip and uh this is a, a rebel android care is a um, on the run android like she doesn't want part of any rebellion with the other androids and Connor is an android hunter so he is like the antagonist would be Marcus and the protagonist would be Connor and the one in the middle would be Kara I think that's her name don't quote me on that but see you see the action is you gotta be fast too like it's like seconds fast anyways hope you enjoyed this video I'm not gonna talk too much but this game is absolutely on honest to God one of the best games I've ever played on the PlayStation and the graphics look absolutely beautiful so I'm gonna leave you on this hope you enjoyed this video leave a like and subscribe and comment Did you get it? Nice. Hurry, get in. No, I'm not going to talk too much about Spider-Man because Spider-Man is Spider-Man. It's awesome. Uh, this is one of the best Spider-Man games I ever played, if not the best. And the DLC makes it even more awesome. So I'm, I'm not going to talk too much on this one. Just uh, watch the gameplay, you know, another game why you should get a PS4 Pro or even a PS4 either way every game that's on this list are PS4 Pro enhanced with the graphics
witness brave enough to stand up against Hammerhead? I better go and keep an eye on him. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe and comments. And I appreciate y'all very much. I make these videos for y'all. So thank y'all again for taking the time and watching these videos. Game last night. Hey, Peter, you got a sec? Say hi to my kid. What are you up to? Oh, uh, you know the usual. Spider in, man in. What's up? Something heavy? I just wanted to thank you again for that first lesson. I mean, I thought we were actually gonna do stuff, but now I'm like so full of knowledge, this whole thing is unreal. When nobody's shooting at you, it is, in fact, fairly rad. So. When's our next lesson? Oh, uh, I don't know, Miles. There's a lot going on. I've been finishing all my homework early, and all my chores are good around the house. And I haven't dunked on a single fool in basketball once, I swear. Hey, no, that's all great, Miles. You're doing a great job. I'll, uh, let you know as soon as I'm free, okay? Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, Peter. I have created a monster. A monster of enthusiasm. It's pronounced... Last but not least is The Last of Us and this game is very story driven. Story driven. It and I say I say this about a lot of games, but this is a top five game for me all time. In fact this and Detroit Becomes Human Horizon, I mean I always put all five of these games on my top ten list. But this game... Very story driven. And uh, it's like... I'm, I'm not gonna lie, my wife was watching me play this game one time. And she's like, man, this is a movie. I thought this was a movie. How realistic it was. In the cutscene she was watching me. I thought this was a movie. I didn't know it was a game. I was getting into it. So, that's how pretty realistic this game is and uh this game though it's been out I think 2014-2015 and it came out on PlayStation 3 but they made a remastered edition and the remastered edition has all DLC on there for the PlayStation 4 and this game this game is like one of the best story games I ever played. I love to play open world games and that's my game. But this game made me look at other games like Uncharted and other story driven games. Which I don't think they'll ever make a, a game like this again. Now The Last of Us 2, I don't know how that's going to play. Me personally, I'm not feeling Last of Us 2. But I'm feeling this game. I've always, I love this game. It's one of my favorite games of all time. And I think I get killed right here. Because I was checking out the ambulance and this guy coming. Yeah, and just like that. But it brings, brings me back to that part right there. So I hope you, you guys enjoyed this video. These are the five games I suggest that would get you to buy a PlayStation 4 or a PlayStation 4 Pro. And uh, these games are some of the best games I've played. They at least be in my top five of these five would be in my top 10 games I've played ever. So leave a like, subscribe and comment and I thank y'all very much for taking time. Peace out. Eddie, what about Uncle Tommy? We're gonna get you to safety and go back for him, okay? Sir, there's a little girl. But... Yes, sir. Somebody, we've just been through hell. Okay, we just need... Oh no. Sarah. 
Move your hands, baby. I know, baby, I know. God. Listen to me, I know this hurts. Baby. You're gonna be okay, baby. Stay with me. I'm gonna pick you up. I know, baby, I know it hurts. Come on, baby, please. I know, baby, I know. Sarah. Baby. Don't do this to me, baby. Don't do this to me, baby. Come on. Come on. No. 